Hello everyone, Sientier here, also known as Ben, with more Majora's Mask, with my sister. Hello! We're going on a trip. Out of here. Not taking a pony with you, huh? Nah, a pony's <laughs> fine. I need Milk Road. Yes. So, the plan today, uh... Well, we've got a bunch of things that we want to do. We'll see how much fits into today. We're halfway through several things. <laughs> yes, we're halfway through several things. Or one third of the way through several things, perhaps. Yeah. Um. So we have. Uh, I want to actually. Uh, the we're getting the sword upgraded. And a throwing way around. Yeah, I want the other one. Say no to this. No. Okay. Um. So we are partway through the Romani ranch thing where we're, we have committed that we are going to help Romani save uh, her cows from the ghosts yes. tonight. We also uh, do not have our sword right now because Good it's, thing we only need a bow for that. It's getting turned into the razor sword and we have some lovely gold dust there to later turn it into the gilded sword. Uh, and we've also been doing the honey and darling thing so we did day one or you did day one how are we gonna put this yeah. of the honey and darling uh that's the wrong direction yes i think you got turned around i did so i believe the thing with uh romani starts at like 2 a.m yeah something like that so a little bit of time before that happens is crammy still out and about i guess maybe she's inside now huh uh, nope, she's, she's still there. She's another hour. Yeah. And here she's... I love how she just so expressive yeah. of putting her arms out to show that she's doing the sales pitch from the brochure. Oop! You I hit, was trying to roll away. You hit A too soon. I did. At night, though, we'll go inside. Uh, that'll be interesting, actually. I, I'm curious, because... I feel like they might spend some of the evening sitting at the dining room table, but at some point, presumably, they go to bed. I'm not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Maybe we should investigate. Huh? Maybe they kick us out when they're going to sleep or something. It might say open until 8 and then they kick us out. No. no. Tonight at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. I think she actually like leaves her house at 2 and she then meets you at 2.30. Or maybe the other way around, she leaves at 1.30 and meets you at 2. Mm. But you can actually catch her leaving her house. The bells. There's something ominous. I like bells. I do like them too, but there's also something ominous about the. I especially like bells and music. Uh huh. Yeah. We should see if they're inside now with the dog. And the cows are in their barn too. Yep, see, there's the dog. So I think they sit here until like eight. We put the cows to pasture when morning comes. Do you know the Romani breed? The special Romani bred cows with a source of Chateau Romani. Oh, she's doing the same thing, huh? Yep. The mystical milk that fills you with magic power. Yep, she's doing the same thing. Please visit Latte. <laughs> that again, sister? I'm sick of hearing it. I'm supposed to. It's work. Work. Hey, come back when you grow up, all right? It's fun hearing the the interplay though. Yeah. So I think they're op I think I feel like I've heard that that's open until eight, and then maybe they kick you out for sleeping. I mean, we can hang out in the yeah, house. Yeah, we can see what happens. Huh? We already saw their bed, right? Are there any things on the in their bedroom to look at? Because I feel like in the remake they have like more pictures. Yeah, one of the things that's nice about the remake is they do add a lot more textures because they have the space for that. Sort yeah, of like I think there's a picture of a UFO or something on a wall, maybe even. So that's like a vanity, I'm guessing. Yeah, with a book on it. With an, a nice mirror, <laughs> which I mean, it's not a mirror at all. Um, yeah, mirror technology could be done at this time, but it's a special investment. So. Yeah, not worth it. Eh. A nice rug on the floor, right? Yeah. They've got some nice uh They have a lot furniture. of space for dancing. They do have a lot of space there in the middle, don't they? If I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed by the ghosts, by the way, I will slow time down again. But if they go now, do they show up on your map as enemies? Yes. They do okay. show up on that your is, map. That is that's good. To keep an eye on that. And the other thing is the dog is going to bark at the one that's closest to the barn. Yeah. Um, so you can also keep an eye on where's the dog and that's the one that's closest that you have to worry about. Uh, most imminently. 
Yeah. So they're both looking at you. That's kind of funny. What you having for dinner? The way Romani is sitting on the edge of her chair and moving her feet while Crimea is like seated more demurely. It's kind of interesting seeing that. Uh huh. The way they're sitting. Yeah, I mean, one of the things is when you're a kid, your legs don't look. Yeah. It looks like that he's taking a break. Let's not bother her. Yeah, so they kick you at 8 o'clock. And I don't know if you can go back in because maybe they're sleeping now and they're like, you're not allowed in while they're sleeping. The branch opens at 6 a.m. Yep, see, so 6 to 8. I was right. That's what I thought. Um, I think actually, uh, I think the Sockpot Inn also like has something where they, they uh, like close at 8 or 8.30 or something like that. See if they give you milk in this game, huh? I mean, yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if they gave you Chateau Romani? Moo, nice music. It reminds me of the pasture. That song just makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. You couldn't see my expression, but it was uh, an expression. Okay. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I guess the milk to you. Milk will make you very healthy. Is it Chateau? Ro- It'd be hilarious if they just gave you Chateau Romani. It would be. I imagine though that they add alcohol to Chateau Romani. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but see, you can for free get like two servings of milk, and I think you can buy it from the Gorman Brothers, like one serving for you know some crazy amount or something. So this is such a way better deal. But no. if you, if you go outside though, like you'll see her. And what's funny is if if you go outside and watch her leave her house to walk over here, she's like, "I'll talk to you when we get in the barn." It's like she won't talk to you until she's actually inside. So it's kind of funny. But uh, and this is where I think one thing the 3DS does that does sound like it's pretty nice is that when you play the time of double time, you can like choose what time you go to instead of it being at the six o'clock, whether it's a.m. or p.m. Mm-hmm. The next six o'clock you can choose like and kind of decide what time it is so that's kind of something that's nice yeah one of the unfortunate side effects of how this game works is you just do spend a lot of time uh With waiting for downtime. the time of day things yeah. to happen depending on what you're doing like if it's something like this where it's uh, someone's schedule obviously yeah. if it's like you're in a dungeon that would not be the case right um you kind of ignore the time mechanic unless you're worried about running out of time uh when you're in a dungeon it actually was kind of weird when we were like we were just doing the dungeon and we come out and we finish the dungeon and it's nighttime and it's like when did that happen? <laughs> right. Because you don't notice inside the dungeon because you're yeah, you inside, don't. so you mm-hmm. don't have any sense. I wonder. I I feel like at least parts of Ikana's dungeon, the uh, entire temple. At least there's at least one room that I think is open air. Because I remember because when you flip it, then yeah. it's under you and you have this open space. So right, I, I wonder if that right. room is different when it's nighttime because of the light being different. Um, but it reminds me of like when you go to see a movie in a theater and you Mm. go in it's bright out and you go outside and it's like still light and you're like wait but I was just in this dark room for hours it's weird that it's light out or like it's dark out when did that happen I went inside when it was dark and when it was light now it's suddenly dark like whereas like there's this change Mm -hmm. that you were unaware of because you were in a room with you know for a while with and with no windows and so you're like you know what's happening Um, it kind of reminds me of that where there's a kind of sense where you're not paying attention to what's happening with time in that way yeah, it is interesting because, like, even when you're when you're inside an area that does have windows, often you do get some light coming in, so you have kind of a sense of what's going on outside, yeah. even if you have the the blinds closed or whatever. Even if, if, unless you have blackout curtains, you can tell if it's light out or not. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, uh, well, I suppose since we're just sitting here waiting around, um, we could talk. One thing that I think is interesting is. I think this is the only Zelda game that's named after the villain. Yeah, I can't think of any others that are named after the villain. So that's something that's kind of interesting. Like, there's a bunch that are named after objects. Uh-huh. Um, like the Wind Waker? The Wind Waker, Minish Cap. Ocarina of Time, uh, Minish Cap. I mean, you, yeah, that one's that one's weird because the Minish Cap could either be uh, Ezlo or the cap that Vadi, the villain, uses to get mm. powerful. Um depending upon what sort of thing you're specifically referring to. Mm -hmm. Um, The Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, another object. It is named after something. Um, What is Breath of the Wild named after? An aspiration. (laughs) Yeah. That that, That was a pun. uh, That was a really bad pun. (laughs) I didn't even think about the pun aspect of that. That's terrible. I want to, like, head... 
like bang my head against something hard. Well, that like, made noise on the microphone. That, that was the, I banged my head on the microphone. I'm like, duh, duh, really? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even mean to, but that was good. <sighs> there's an aspiration for you. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. That's great. Um, then there's one named after people. Uh, Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah, Skyward Sword is also named after an object. Yes. Sort of. There, um, it's often like Skyward Sword and Minish Cap and uh, Wind Waker is like, and Ocarina of Time is like the object you use in your yeah. quest. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not a thing that they typically do. Mm-hmm. I think Zelda 2 is also called The Adventure of Link. Yes. Um, and is that the only game that has Link's name in the title? No, Link's, Link's Awakening. Awakening. Yeah, so those two are the ones, only ones that actually mention Link. Link's the past. Yeah. That's yeah. a pun as well. Though, and Link frankly. Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds. Okay, fine. There are more. Oh, see, she's coming out. See, she said she'll meet you at two, but then she's like leaving her house at two. So she's not good with time management. And if you, I don't know if she talks to you. Maybe she doesn't talk. Oh, there she had to speak, but it was just for a second. All right. Well, we're about to embark. It's time for Operation Defend the Farm. Yes. It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay? Whatever happens, do not let them get into the barn. They'll come from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates for them near the house to stock up soon when you need to. So she's going to hang out with the cows to keep them calm, I guess, and let you do all the work. If you weren't here, what would she be doing? Like, uh, would she be trying to shoot them or still be, like, I don't know. Here all they right, come. here they are. About 2.30, I guess, huh? They're not super fast, but if you play the, the song of... Double time, they're slower, yeah. And I'll try to keep... There's one really close on... Yeah, let's see where the dog's going, too. Um, where is it? Probably behind the house. Yeah. I'm looking at the map. The red barn's where you came out of, so that lets you know kind of yeah. where the barn is located on the map. It's the red spot. Ah, he's close. Yeah, they're not super duper fast, but they can really creep, if you're not paying attention like to the back of the barn as she mentioned, they can really creep up there fast uh, and get really close before you expect it. I was gonna say hit him with your sword, but you don't have one. There's some arrows you could grab. Yeah, I want to get this. Oh, yeah, get him around the back of the house. The barn, whatever. You know what I mean. This is where you want two people, right? I think it's doable with one person, but it can feel a little like, ah, they keep coming. Keeps you on your toes, right? Oops. That one spawns really close. I just saw one respawn, and it's it's pretty close to where the uh, barn is. Yeah. Fortunately, time goes pretty quickly when you have it on normal speed. So, and they don't actually go until six o'clock. The sunrise is more like five fifteen or something. Um, so it's not actually. You can see it's starting to get light already. Actually, like it's an easier defense if you slow things down, but it's a much longer one. Yeah. There's two of them, I think. No, was it just one? Okay, I guess it's just one. See, that, that respawns so close. Ooh, we're getting close to the sunrise. Yay! There we go. Did it. Yay, and They all victory. burned up in the light of the sun, and then they go in their spaceship, or whatever that is. Yay! Yay, we did it. We saved the farm. We saved the cows. Definitely some tense moments in there, but... We did it! We won! That goes by really fast when the time is normal. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks, too. Uh, so, like, if you don't speed it up, it takes... Or if you go with slow time, it takes forever. It's just really easy. And you know when cows are thankful? This is what they do. We already found this out. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. That's what you do as the taunt in Super Smash Melee, right? As yeah. Young, young Link. Yeah. See, now you got two bottles of milk bun. And uh, in Smash Ultimate. Okay, I'll take your word on that one. I haven't seen Smash Ultimate played. You cover five hearts per gulp, and you've got four of these. Recycle the bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I had to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. Yay! We helped Romani. Woohoo. 
All right. Well, should we go figure out what's going on with our sword? Uh, let's wait for the sunrise. And yeah, we can for see. For it to become day two. That makes sense. Well, we can also see what these people are doing at the ranch. Yeah. Uh, when Kremia has no idea what just happened, right? It's true. Get more bells ringing. But it's interesting that they Ding named bong. it after the villain. Like, I wonder how, how do you choose your name for your video game? You know? Yeah. I mean, obviously if it's a franchise, you have the franchise title like yeah. Legend of Zelda does. Mm-hmm. But otherwise it's something that's going to kind of stand out, be unique and be intriguing. Mm-hmm. How do, and be relevant to what the game about. Yeah. And also how do they choose the franchise title? Like, you know, this particular franchise is named after Zelda, who is Dame not appearing in this particular one, right? She's got the cameo. So it's kind of interesting how that works out, too. Yeah, I mean... Like, why Zelda, you know? It's like, why did it call it that for the original game, right? Yeah, obviously you know why they do it going forward, because they did it for the first one. Ah, see, she's milking here. Oh, my. Uh, hello? Ramon is going to take our milk to clock down, too. You're looking after the place. The cows will be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about six o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. Okay. So we, we've made the appointment. We'll be joining her at six p.m. Sounds like a plan. It does. Now let's go see about our sword. Yes. And then I guess it's honey and darling. Yeah. A lot of very important side quests. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are. This one's an... I think... I would say the biggest side quest is Andrew and Cafe, obviously. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'd say number two is Kremi and Romani. I just tried to hack that snowball apart with my non-existent sword. Oops. Yeah, it's you're so used to having it. It's throwing everyone off. But w- would you agree, though, that, that number two? Yeah, it definitely is one of the bigger ones. I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? I think this looks pretty neat. It does look pretty neat. You can see why it might be breakable, though. Yeah. <laughs> With the like, thing in the middle. All right. Kokiri sword has been strengthened and forged into a razor sword. Do you use it to cut your hair off? <laughs> this new sharper blade is a cut above the rest. That's a bad pun. Yep. Aspiration was better. Use it up to 100 times without dulling its superior edge. Now, keep in mind that after you use it 100 times, the blade will lose its edge and will return to its original sharpness. Now, here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before this sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make it the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust. Ooh, 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 ooh. Speaking of gold dust, mm-hmm, when I don't have milk, I have gold dust. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, a customer. Gabora, fetch your customer some coffee, quick like. I never find this coffee, though. I never see it. Yeah. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey, now, that's a mean joke. Your sword's already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? Well, it just so happens. I do. Yeah. Why, if it isn't gold dust and it's even top quality... Why, even if I use it to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. You didn't hear that. All right, just for you, I'll do this for free. Don't tell anyone. For free, meaning he keeps the extra gold dust. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Ugo, ugo, ugo. All right, well, that's all in hand. All right, gold dust has been delivered. Time to go to town. Yeah. Let's see. Which one is this one, I wonder? Which one? Oh, is it... I think it's going to either... I'm guessing it's going to be putting bombs into baskets. But it might be the archery one. Hmm, it could be basket bomb. Yes. You couldn't see the expression we were giving each other. <laughs> You didn't like my pun? This is East Clock Town. Yes, we went East Clock Town. Sorry, I'm, used, <laughs> I'm so used to West Clock Town being all the shops. And I even I even talked about the fact that you did. the games are in East Clock Town. You can shoot those and get money, I think, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. 
Well, that wasn't a very good shot. Well, you got some money. Yes, I got one rupee, one fell into the thing. You got three rupees, just you could grab all of them. <laughs> Try the other one. How old are you? You're not from around here, are you? Why are you dressed like that? Huh? Huh? Why? Do you have any problems? Any? You should you tell them those bombers? Tell us! Psst, what about the bombers? Yes. Sure. <laughs> you can't tell anyone. Every bomber has a notebook. Here's how we use it. We know this already. Don't forget the rules. The bomber's gang is a secret society of justice, so don't tell anyone or something. I didn't see the rest of it. Uh-huh, secret society of justice that you're telling everybody about. I was about. to say that you tell everyone about. Ha, it is the bomb basket. Basket bomb. We would visit her, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, were you the one who got a perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is basket bomb day, isn't it, darling? I didn't even make the joke. They made the joke. This is terrible. One game is 10 rupee. Get a bomb inside every basket in the time it takes us to dance. And if you throw with too much power, you'll fall off this platform. So be careful, right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. And there's water, so the bombs will get diffused. Wow, you're after a great start. Three for three. At least you have infinite bombs. Imagine if they had ammo. This would be terrible. Oh, good, it went in. Also, the this platform goes up and down, doesn't it? Yes. Does that make it hard? You read that one. Does that make it harder or easier? Uh. Ha. Probably indifferent. Yay. Oh, that one didn't make it. It definitely makes things a little wonky. Yeah, that it's like... Also, if they flooded this building... <laughs> like, there's the door, right? They flooded this building. I don't know where they got the water from or where they stored it. This oh, might take no. a couple tries. Ah! Oh, that would just bounce off the edge, too. All done! Oh, then they flood it. It's already over, honey. For a while, it was like a dream, darling. Another visitor. It's a customer, darling. All right, let's try again. So what sort of deal do they have with the bomb shop? Basket bomb runs till tonight, doesn't it, darling? Get a bomb inside every basket. Be careful, darling. At least you don't have to do it on the first try, right? You just need to do it at some point today? Yes. Today meaning uh, two, second day. I mean, this episode too, preferably, but... Well, yeah. Oh, that's why I told you. All right. We've already won, honey. I'm happy, darling. So no falling off the platform is what we have learned. I might need to go get more money. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully this will be third time's the charm or something. <laughs> you almost got it the first time. The first time you just, like, missed two of them, I think. What was that? Ha. Please Interesting. This... Bomb shoe uh -huh. is on the flats, and these are in the corners. I was going to say, actually, that um, I noticed that they don't have one on the door this time, like they did last time. Because last time it was, like, over the door. You had to do the bomb shoe over the door. Yes, I remember. This is like last time where you had two left and there were tw like 20 seconds. Ow. At least you didn't fall off. Where are the oh, there Right there. Do it when you're higher up. Because it's it's a high up one. Oh, we got it in. Thank goodness. There we go. Oof, their time was the charm. Woo. Perfect. That was tricksy. That was. Did you see that? Honey, he got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. I'll give it all to you tomorrow. Wait, doesn't she say darling? Which one says darling? Which one says honey? Then? That's annoying. So let's show off even more for him, darling. Too bad you can't collect those hearts they've got above their head. Because they look just like the hearts <laughs> that you can use for your health. Yep. But nope, they're not grabbable. Okay. I love that they have the one day that has different weather as well, by the way. I think that's really fun when they do that. Is there anything interesting going on in here? Uh, I don't think anything we haven't seen. Unless you want to check out and see if the underpants are available. 
We've already followed her. Remember, she goes yeah. along the pool. We can see if the underpants are on the. Uh... I guess we can do that. Or is he sleeping off his night at Milk Bar? I think he's snoring. Yep, he's there snoring. We have to come at nighttime when he's at Milk Bar, apparently. Yep, apparently so. Or it might be on day three or something. I don't know. At some point, there are underpants there. <laughs> you can ring that bell, I think, by the way. You might need your sword to do it, though, which you don't have. Wait, if you don't have a sword, what did that? Your shield? I heard a metal and metal noise. I don't know. That's very weird. I think you can ring it. I mean, I rolled into it. Yeah. Well, that's sort of a noise, right? Okay. Um. So I think the next thing we had was at six o'clock. We're gonna see uh, Kremi off, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything else right now that we were talking about. There's honey and darling. There's a bunch of stuff on day three. A bunch of stuff, huh? Oh, what's it? There's something else that... Yeah, yeah, okay, but that was at the end of day two. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I could go to the ranch and just advance time. Does that work? Yeah, I probably could do that. It's amazing to me how I feel like when... Like, when you had time slowed for doing the dungeons, because you did two dungeons in the same time, uh, three-day span... I feel like the day goes by pretty slowly that you're, I mean, you're able to do that. Yeah. But it's already one o'clock. Like when time is at normal speed, it goes by so much normal more quickly. Normal time is very quick. Yeah. It, it's interesting what it difference. I think it's one third the speed. Running there, by the way. Um, Might as well. Yeah. I'm not sure what the time speed difference is. You could grab rupees, I suppose, if you're into this. But hey, guess what? The, uh, the bird cannot steal your sword. It cannot steal things you don't have. That is true. Yep, yep. A proud discovery. I guess could still steal your shield or something, though, right? Maybe. It reminds me of an asset from um, Mario 64. Oh, and what did it appeal looks like? Yeah. They actually do borrow something from Mario that we will encounter later on in this game. Besides the Mario mask that we already saw. <laughs> Not a chain chomp, though. There are Zelda games with chain chomps. Chain chomp? Chain chomps. You oh, chain chomps. I got you now. I thought you said shop, and I was like, chain shop? What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't chain chomps. Which Zelda has the chain chomp? I, I remember that, but I don't remember which one it was. Um, Link's Awakening has uh, Oh, okay. Huh. I think there might be some other 2D ones that have them as well. Actually. Interesting. I remember him in uh, the in, in Mario 64, and the, the first place you go to, the Bob Bob place, there's a chain chomp, right? Yes, there is. That's where I remember him from. Oh, Ma, hello. I think this is the same dialogue, right? Yeah. Looking after the cows. So she's going to be outside uh, right here at the gates at 6 o'clock. So you probably can do the, the time change and she'll be right there. Okay, let's see. Uh... Double. I don't know how long she stays. I've, not, I've always, as soon as I see her, I just go to her. So I don't know if she like leaves at 6.15 or how it works. But she should be there now. There she is, there she is. by the barn. Talk, hello, hello, there to speak. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. Don't know how a steering wheel works with a horse, though. Just go with it, I guess. Only two wheels. It's like a wheelbarrow. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Armani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are those sounds so excited about the moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? She talks fast. Whew. Yeah. But maybe the dad died like, you know, a year ago. In town, I have a friend. Her name's Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. 
when she says her father died a while ago, it sounds like she is like picking up the pieces of taking over. So like maybe he died eight months ago or something, yeah. right? The those two people are just ignoring the, this thing, this bridge, your know, bridge, this uh, fence got built, right? What the road, boy? Get your bow ready. We're going in a hostile territory. Ugly country. With billboards. Oh, it's more blockage. First Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Told you, ugly country. Mm-hmm. So she seems to think the boulder is. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Um, but I, I, it seems like she thinks these guys, the Gorman brothers, who are, you notice are wearing those Garo masks like they gave you. And didn't we t you tell anyone that you got them from them? But uh, she seems to think that they might be responsible for the boulder. So I think the boulder is probably Majora. Um, but they definitely blocked off the road so they could try to stop her milk from being delivered so that they can seal her milk with the broken bottles and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of their fault. Um, so we have some feuding neighbors here, huh? I wouldn't call that just feuding. That's true, because the feuding takes two sides to some degree as well. We have some bad neighbors. Thieving neighbors. Jealous neighbors. Immoral neighbors. Immoral neighbors. Who like pitchforks. These are not very good disguises. Like, you know who they are. You know? Yeah. They sound like themselves, for one what thing. What are these arrows made of? What are they made out of? <laughs> Either they're nerf arrows, or these are really, uh... These are, like, the most strongest bad guys ever. Like, they're stronger than goat or something, right? How many arrows they yeah. take? Yeah. We made it through. Oh, they tied the bridge. And she so just Tingle just watches the whole thing and does nothing, right? Mm -hmm. it's like, thanks, Tingle. You were great help. That's where the uh, the gameplay versus the world, you know, it, it doesn't line up. Anyway, yeah. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in Barton quite a while. the bartender. Yes, I know. <laughs> was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. And if you do this again, she has several things she can give you, like money and stuff, but she also can give you a hug. Yeah. Very sweet. All right, we got Romani's mask. Shall we go try it out? By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. I thought that's a theme, because we've had this with yeah. the sword means you're an adult, and now the mask means you're an adult. Like, mm -hmm. This is definitely a thing. Nine o'clock. All right. Well, shall we go inside and use our new, uh, our our new, new privileges? Mask, our, our new proof of membership. And what does it say about the proof of membership? Yes, Romani's mask. It means that it says that it is sentimental and exudes maturity. Bah, bother, bother, I'm busy. He's busy going to get drunk. So, he doesn't have his mask on. See, no, what's funny is if you talk to the bartender, he's like, please wear your mask when you're in the bar. No one else is wearing a mask. <laughs> It's really funny. Also, uh, I feel like some of these people are visiting the town, like Gorman, yeah. the, his troop, and Toto. Uh, they're all... Oh, yeah, it opens at 10, you're right. Um, they're all visiting town, but they seem to be members, so that's kind of interesting, too. Anyway, I think it's probably emptier than normal because... Ah, you are a member. Please come in. Because everybody's fleeing. Because to... fleeing. Because we, we read that Cafe comes here with the fellows, to, you know, and there's no fellows here, right? <laughs> there's no one in here. Um, so there's Mr. Burton. Speaks to the shopkeeper. We've got some good milking tonight. Would you like some Romani for your final moon viewing? Oh, 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 my final moon viewing. Don't say that. That's nice. Hey, you. Milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from something like milk? <laughs> Apparently the answer is yes. 
We were scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you. Could you help me with a performance? Okay, you played the Ocarina, right? Go straight under the center spotlight. <laughs> Maybe face the... There you go. Okay, play your Ocarina like this. You can still hear the milk bar music in the background. Okay, now it's gone. When there's only one of you, this feels really weird and repetitive of like, okay, you played mm -hmm. it and then they play it for you and then they play it for you twice. Okay, that feels good. <laughs> what feels good? That wretched senseless racket? You'd think as they add more instruments, he would start to realize that what you're developing, you know? But no. Could you have the performance? Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go down to the front left spotlight. Okay, now play your pipes like this. It's nice that they don't like have you try to memorize a thing here. That's nice, yes. Mm. It's cool seeing how it all kind of come together. Yeah. Also, how did they do that? Okay, that feels good. Yeah. What feels good? That wretched senseless racket. It's funny putting a mask on a mask, isn't it? But you can do it. Yeah, so. with the transformation masks. Anyway. Could you help me with the performance? Okay, you put the drums, right? Go stand into the rear left spotlight. The purple one. Okay, play your drums <laughs> like the this. smaller one, too. Yeah, it's the pipes are the big one, not the drums. Okay, that feels good. <laughs> what feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? Again, you'd think, you think that maybe he would start recognizing the song, even if we don't have the guitar in there yet, right? Our first time wearing this mask. We got it earlier in this time cycle. Okay, you play guitar, right? Stand beneath the spotlight on the right. Also, how does Toto know what instrument you play? I don't know. And how does he recognize you as Macau? I, I think he'd be like, Macau, what are you doing here? Why are you wearing a kilt? Yeah. Okay, play your guitar like this. All right, let's see it. Bravo, that was the best. The, the melody. The melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the previous generation, the Indigo Goes, made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. They aren't very creative in that regard. Also, generations of the same band is a little strange. Yeah. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. The circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. And uh, the circus leader's mask, according to the happy mask salesman, shows the tenderness left behind in the back of one's heart. Hmm. Mm hmm. So the tears of circus leader Gorman. This was added to your notebook. Yes. 
Tears of happiness, one assumes. If you wear his own mask in front of him, would say, I remember when I was back at the ranch, my brothers. I wonder how they are. All right, well, we got another mask, yay. Yeah. Look how many we've racked up now. We've got quite a few. How many do we have, actually? Uh, I don't know. Let's see, we've got the three transformation masks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen masks, I think, out of twenty-four. It's so good. Over half, right? I mean, we've been prioritizing them. So. We have been, yeah. You want to see his underpants on the? No. <laughs> I mean, if they're available. I don't. Well, maybe they're just there on day three. I have no clue. But we can check since we know he's not sleeping in the bed right now. Anyway, he sleeps all day and drinks all night, huh? Yep. Also, you should take a look at... Okay, here. Ha-ha! They are here. Let's get that Mask of Sense. The power of this mask allows you to see what you can smell. If it's possible, put the scent in something and take it to the Magic Hacks Potion Shop. Do you want to put that in a... in a bottle, Ben? No. No? Also, you're grunting. It's kind of creepy. It feels kind of like a moblin reference. I was going to say it's like truffle hunting, but I can see the moblin thing, too. I think you're truffle hunting. I right? think we've seen what we can see with those. So, that was the thing. These cards are terrible because th they don't have a back. So, like, would you like to join our little card game? You're joking, aren't you, brother? He'll make our game too complex. See, the backs of the cards and the fronts yeah. are the same, so you can see what they're doing. Whatever do you mean? It's easy playing against you. You look just like me, so I already know what you look like when you were bluffing. <laughs> the thing is, I don't. You don't need a bluff. Can you say a different thing. Did you meet the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers from the troupe? They're twins too. Good point. They have two sets of twins. They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clocktown right now. There are two sets of twins traveling in Gorman's troupe of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a million. No, wait. Make that four in a million. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, you don't have to bluff with those cards because you can see what the cards are. <laughs> yeah, they're not, not very uh, secretive. No, th those are the worst playing cards ever. That's not how card games work. Oh, well. Uh, so in a few hours, we will have a new sword, will we not? Yeah. Is there anything we want to do before morning? Oh, I actually, I miscounted because there are, we have 15 masks. I hadn't checked off Romania's mask with the Circus Leader's mask, so we have 15 masks. Okay. Um, before morning, you said? Otherwise, I'll just go to the Mountain Village and advance the time. Yeah, I think that's probably okay. Because um, I don't, unless you want to do like something like the go giant gossip stones that are in yeah. the... Uh, we okay. can do some of that stuff later. Yeah. All right, well, a fountain village it is then. This is very exciting, huh? Yeah. And we've got, we started today, not this episode, but like this day cycle with one bottle. And now we have three. Yeah. Because we got two bottles during this, this day cycle. So that's cool. Proceed to the dawn of the final day? Yes, please. Yep. And let's take a look at our new gilded sword. Maybe kill some Dodongos with it or something, huh? Maybe. But as we all know, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. What? I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos as a reference to the CDI Zelda games. Oh, okay. I don't know those. The Wand of Gamelon and Faces of Evil. They are known for their over-the-top animation. I'm trying to figure out what over the top means in the context of animation. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? I'll show you a clip after. Okay. It's a checkerboard. The other sword is much cooler looking. If it was all gold, it, I would like it better. Checkerboard, like I said. Yeah. It's pretty. But I mean, it's fine. It it's 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 functional, right? Yep. That's the important part. It's more powerful. Newly forged, your sword is newer than better than ever, and will never break. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. What's funny is that gold is actually pretty malleable, so it's probably not actually a great. Gold thing to is use. a terrible. Like steel is like 
we haven't yet found a material that's better than steel for a sword as far as I'm aware. Yeah, like you would not um, want a gold sword. It actually sword. does a really good job of holding edge hardness, which is really important for swords. A gold sword would be terrible. Um, it So like it doesn't nick or whatever easily. It's it's not too difficult to work with. Things like titanium actually don't hold an edge as well as you'd expect them to. Oh, interesting. From what I understand. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. It's not titanium. Oh, and I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I get rid of it for you. By which he means he have to for himself. Yeah. Like, you think we're going to buy that, dude, really? Ugo, 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 ugo. Oh, you don't have to. Again. I keep on saying that thing I think is a... A, uh, a duck. Tomorrow's a town's carnival, and you can't work during the carnival, can you? So he hasn't been hearing things about the moon, it sounds like. He's just like, oh, it's the carnival, so we're yeah. going to be in town for the carnival. I wonder where they put their forge up here. I don't know. I guess it's where they live. Uh, maybe there's more... It's a more... little bit longer than the Kokiri sword, I think. I, it looks longer It also me. deals substantially more damage. Yes, as that grass can attest to. Yep. Okay. Let's go do some honey and darling and then head out to the ranch to see what's up with the... Uh... Yeah, what they're doing now that they... We've been there on the third day before when the cows were stolen. Yeah. And, uh, and and if that happens, if the cows get stolen, Romani gets stolen along with the cows. So she's abducted by aliens, right? Yeah. Uh, and then when she comes back, she's like completely like amnesia. They, you know, she's got nothing going on uh, because they like did who knows what experiments on her or something and then gave her back but not the cows mm -hmm. um so that's why she's all weird on like uh, uh, she gets abducted the night of day one she's missing day two and she's i think i don't we'd have, to, we'd have to see what they're doing i guess we'd have to watch it happen which sounds morbid but you could um but anyway day three she's back but she doesn't have a memory i wonder if it's a customer darling oh are you the one who got a perfect score two days in a row do you want to play again Today is target shooting day, isn't it, darling? One game is 10 rupees. Hit all the targets in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you flop this platform, you're out, isn't he, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. They don't like it when you shoot them. That sounds normal. Don't you think? Oh, of course, it goes up and down, so you, you can't just target. Ah, oh, that's how you know they don't like being shot. Yeah, because you can, don't have to just do it in front of you, of course. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, the going up and down makes this tricky, I'd say. Because you're not just like, oh, do all the ones that are low down by staying on that angle, because the angle moves. How many targets are there, I wonder? I think you're doing pretty well at this one. This is easier than the bomb and bomb chew stuff, right? Yeah, because at least you can aim. Yeah. Theoretically. <laughs> you are able to aim, whether you can actually do it or not is the question. Is it the last one? I think so. How is it you always have like 20 seconds for the last one or two and then it takes you the entire time to get that last <laughs> I one? Don't, I don't know. It's like 40 seconds to do 20 targets. Well, there's more other targets, so if I'm missing one, I yeah. can kind of so like 40 seconds others. to do 19 targets and 20 seconds to do one target. Huh, honey, he, he got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we love to give him, honey. They're love. They're love. Aww. But we like getting your love. Yep. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? That's the question that child asks at the end. Truly, what makes you happy? Whatever. Mm. Anyway, well, we'll get there. That, that's not, that's later. I feel like we're going in circles. I mean, it is a big circular room, so. All right, we did honey and darling. Yay. Yeah. And the music is frantic. Now we can head to Milk Road. Mm-hmm. If I can remember which direction to move the thing. I feel like you always guess the wrong one. Yeah. I have a tendency to. We could try doing the pictograph contest since we didn't do the uh, woodfall this cycle. It might still be going on. That's an idea. Would Tingle is right there after all. The fairy is following you. All right, let's get a picture of Tingle. Hi, Tingle. We want to get your face, so stop going in circles. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> we'll keep it. It's fine. Positively delightful. It sure is a picture. 
I'm going to just drop by the ranch now. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And then we will... Did I see her over here? No, it's just... The cow. cow is here. She, I think, might be inside the barn. We will, we will find out. Oop. I might be thinking what they're doing later in the day, potentially, too, rather than the morning. Hey, aren't you a little rusty? Want to practice? Hmm, confident, aren't you? Confident there will be no more ghosts for me to deal with on this particular play cycle? Yes, yes I am. So she must be out with a different bunch of cows instead of that one, she must be the other ones. Um, but I, I think... Let me check inside the house too. Like, we can go check, turn in the pictograph. Yeah, I, I think if you see them later in the day, uh, they're in the barn with the cow. But that might be closer to six. Um, I think she's in the field with the other cows. That makes sense. Um, not the cow that's near the front, but the other cows. I just kind of want to make sure we're getting stuff when we have things active. And then I want to end this uh, video with the Song of Time. So. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So, wherever the other cows are is, I think, where Kremia is at this moment. I have it written down, actually, in my uh, book where I made the map. This doesn't surprise me. It sounds like I know. Do. It does, doesn't it? Um, so, 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 so she's not with that. She's with that cow on day one and the other cows on day, right here on day three. Speak. Haha. I heard this from people who were fleeing this way this morning. It's terrible. They said that huge moon is going to crash down onto the town sometime tonight. I wonder if we'd be all right here. I certainly hope so. So she's thinking about this and worrying about it. So later in the day, it'll be a little bit more imminent for her. Shaky, shaky. Yeah, like the the kind of earthquakes from the, the rumblings of the moon are definitely a thing that happens on day Yeah. Three. They do a pretty good job, I feel like, of getting the mood or atmosphere of like this situation you know of the the For kind sure. of there's definitely a difference it's I very think, ominous yeah well it's gonna say dread because yeah. there's definitely a difference of like something happens abruptly versus something happens that you see is gonna happen that you see it coming and the build up mm -hmm. of like knowing it's coming in the dread like that's a very different thing yeah, for sure. Um, and, and I think they do a good bit of it capturing a lot of the different attitudes of the people, like the people who are scared from the get-go, people who are, like, bravado until it's, like, right on top of them and then they're scared. People like uh, Andrew, who is, like, accepting it. When, when, when she's like, I'm staying here for a cafe, um, then she's like, I'm not caring about the moon, you know. So let's see the pictograph. Well, that's my son. She's still doing that sort of thing. Or how humiliating this guy, he's my son. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. <laughs> Does this guy being Tingle's father ever come up in anything else ever? No. I don't, Tingle's, I don't know Tingle has brothers in Wind Waker, but it's in a really yeah. creepy way. But I mean, the Legend of Zelda series is so mythic to me anyway, where things are like reincarnated and reinterpreted. So. What is that like tiger bear thing in the corner? You mean that? Yes. Uh, in, in the right. What is that? I was wondering that myself. It's like a tiger slash bear or something. Well, thanks for going to all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. So you can get the piece of heart either for Tingle or for uh, the Deku King. Because he's mm, like, how do you mm -hmm. get a picture of Deku King? No one's in there but Deku's. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, But could you tell my son something for me? Could you... Uh, Please ask him not to go outside in that outfit anymore. <laughs> you're an aviator. Look at what you're wearing to leave the house, okay? I, I don't know what that thing I is. I don't know whose outfit is worse, yours or your son's. So, like, it's creepy is what that thing is. He's got yeah. some really big teeth that are over there. She's lost in the woods, remember? Yep. Should we go check out the woods? If you want to. I kind of do. Kotake is probably wandering around looking for her sister. I think you'll be standing up in this. See? Yeah, but it'll still be faster than swimming. Yep. I'm not sure if it's faster than hopping, though. Yeah, but I don't think I can... Is it Deku? 
become a Deku while I'm already in the water. Oh, well, you're already in the water. Yeah, yeah. It was too late at that point. That was a really nice transition animation. Between the two places? On the map. Oh, on the map. I wasn't looking at the map. I'll also look at it now. Gangway. Yes, that's the noise they make. It's nice to have uh, enemies that have it. an iconic sound to them. Yes. Mmm, follow me. And it's a different path when we did this before. It's only noon, it's already like sunsetty feeling almost. I completely lost that monkey. Yes, you did. You got caught off by the, the gangway turtle. Yep. Uh, but the follow me like the the quality of the light on the final day like there definitely is like day one happy normal everything's great day two it's Where raining but otherwise it's normal where the heck is that monkey going um i don't know day two it's it's overcast and raining but it's normal and then day three it's like everyone's trying to kind of panic at some point during the course of the day you found him. Okay. Okay, we're, we're on to your rally way. See, there she is. There she is. Looking for her sister. You lost the monkey, by the way. I know, I wanted to talk to her. You're really bad at speaking to people. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, did you need me for something? Have you seen an old hag named Kume who looks just like me? Another twin! Yeah. Lots of twins in this game. She hasn't come back from gathering medicinal herbs. I have not. I don't know where the monkey is anymore. The monkey is lost irrevocably. That's fine. I just wanted to see her out in the woods. Yep. On her little broomstick. That's, that's why I came out here. Oh, this isn't Keaton grass. It looked like it was Keaton grass. Interesting. I mean... Um, but I guess we could see how the ranch is doing again really fast since it's afternoon now. I don't know when they go into the barn. Yeah, we'll probably just end out by hanging in the the ranch and seeing what sort of changes happen because I can't yeah. think of anything else that I necessarily want to do. That's on the thing that thing. strikes me as to do. Yeah. Yeah. No. We can talk about Moonfall, right? Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, it. Part of me would be really interested in seeing the cut scenes that happen, like if you watch Romani get kidnapped by the aliens and you know and, and things like that right mm -hmm. and part of me is like but I don't want to like let that happen like you know yeah, what I mean yeah I get you there like I want to see the cutscene but I also don't want to let it happen or like you know if you let the moon fall and destroy the planet part of me is like oh I'd be curious to see that cutscene because I've never actually seen it I, I know that uh, I know there's a, a cutscene um, that happens where like the moon falls and like Majora's Mask like says something and you know it's a terrible fate haven't you or something I don't know mm -hmm. um but that um it uh yummy yeah, eating the grass yep, Sorry. Uh, still. but like I've never actually seen it in the game cause like I, I, I feel like no you have to stop it for everything you can't just like let it happen yeah right uh so it, it's it's kind of weird where there's like this I, I want to see it but I don't want to like let it happen versus watch it happen does that make sense yeah no i know what you mean like you're curious about what happens but you also don't want it like if it's in your power to stop it from happening you want to yeah like for example you can do the whole cafe and andrew thing and never give andrew the pendant so cafe goes to, you know rescues the mask comes back to the talk about in and she's not there mm -hmm. and he's like you know like that's awful why would you do that you see forget uh, that's why you did, because you forgot not to. But, you know, it's kind of like... This is a really charming little uh, cottage, by the way. Yeah. But, you know, like, it's interesting. Like, I think it's really cool they put all of those things in there. I wonder how they decided what music to reuse from Ocarina of Time and what music to do fresh for this game. I don't know. Um, so I, I think it's cool they put those scenes in there, and it's good they yeah. did. But you also don't want to make them happen. I'm glad that they have failure handling like that. Uh -huh. um, like, that's something that you should do as a game designer. But yeah. at the same time, like, you don't, as a player, you want to avoid it. By the by, I believe there is a, uh, whatchamaflapa, a, a uh, thing you go up. What's the thing you climb up? 
ladder? Thank you. I think there's a ladder on the back of their house to get on their roof, but I might be misremembering or something else. Did Romani just go inside the barn or anything? Yeah, there it is. There's a ladder. I told you That's that strange. The ladder? No, the soft dirt on the back oh, of the house. Oh, yeah. You can get some bugs in there or something. Maybe there's money in there or something. I don't know. Maybe. See, you can go on their roof. Look how big that moon is. Holy cow. So I guess it's after 6 p.m. that they go inside the barn. And then at some point after that, they're going to go... Uh, after they go in the barn, they're going to go back into their house. Mm -hmm. That moon is really big. Yeah, it is. Yap, yap, indeed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just interesting to me because they have like undercurrents of the similar music in Termina Field and Hyrule Field, but they're not quite the same. And like Clock Town's its own theme. Yeah. But they like they're reusing the ranch theme here and the Lost Woods theme. So it's uh -huh. like. They have a lot of reused music. They also have a lot of original music. Yeah. So it's just kind of like where, how do they make those decisions? Mm -hmm. Oh, good evening. We're milking the cows tonight. It's Chateau Romani. It's the first time I get to drink it. Until now, my sister always said, wait till you're an adult, but why now? <sighs> You've become an adult now, Romani. I see it in you. I'm acknowledging it. Yeah. Then does Romani get a mask too? Like, there's some kind of culture around masks that kind of gets yeah, mentioned next word. Well, yes, I I'll make one for you. Sleep with me on my bed tonight, okay, Romani? Yes, sister. Like, it's, it's really... I don't know. It's it's the 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 sweetness, but also the the darkness of like, you know, she's she like looks so happy when yeah. she says yes, sister. Yeah, that you know that the reason she is so cute there. Yeah, the, on Romani's side, this is all sweet and fun. And haha, I'm an adult now. This is great. Um, but you know, on Creamia's side, that she's like, my sister's gonna die tonight. So I want to let her have the the drink that only adults get. I want to give her those final experiences. And I, I want her to be close to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the moon falls, right, we can hug each other as we're dying. Um, now I didn't see the. Oh, that's why they're upstairs. Yeah. Um, this sure. This is the other reason to share her bed. Good point. They have uh, they have a few guests. There are there are five people in two beds. Um, we did talk to her another episode, but they do yeah. come out of the barn, and I don't know if they have different dialogue. I can't remember if it's the same dialogue when, when you catch them like walking to the house. Um, maybe around now, for all I know, I think you can catch them walking, but, but it it might be the the same dialogue. I'm not sure. They're probably timing it to enter the house at eight o'clock, if I had to guess. So it, it might mm. be a little bit later, but I like though how they coordinate like these schedules and the NPCs doing stuff. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and like I said, the I, I really like stories that are bittersweet. Mm -hmm. And there's something really poignant about the storyline of, you know, kind of the uh, the innocence and uh, ob obliviousness, I guess, of Romani with the awareness of Kremia that she's mm -hmm. hiding from her sister. Yeah. Um, I know what you mean. So it, it's... Uh, it's like it's a happy story until you get to the end and then it's sad because like it's happy because like you save the ranch and blah 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 but then it's like see you tomorrow oh see isn't that awful I don't know if Kremia says something different good night see you tomorrow okay oof just the different that, that says it right there yeah see you tomorrow cheerful happy and like see you tomorrow village of milk <laughs> oof and it's closed. All right. Well. Well, let's go turn in our uh, handful of rupees. Yep. And then we will end the episode. Yeah. We got a lot done, though. We did. So. We did. It's been a good. Yeah. I mean, it's split over two episodes, right? Yes, it was. <laughs> we keep doing. These keep making longer than we expect, I feel like, to get anything done in these games. I mean, there's some amount of that, but I don't know. It's It's been a long day of recording for us, but we've gotten a lot done. Yeah. So. So. I'm happy about that. Yep. All right. So 46 rupees. That's something. I mean, you could always go and get 100 more if you wanted to from somewhere, but... Eh. All right. 
And you took out, you withdrew rupees earlier. I did. I'm putting back in fewer than I took out, in fact. Yes, I you took are. out 150 and I'm putting in 46. So that's why you should go and get 104 more rupees just to make up for this. So can you tell him a number that you don't actually have? Um, that would be 495. I think he is just like, that's not the amount you have, which is why I always try to be precise. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's one of those things where it like deposits the maximum amount that uh -huh. you can. Well, time to... Uh, yeah. Restart the cycle once again. Mm hmm And next time I guess we're going to Great Bay, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. That and this time you have time. a sword so you can get the owl statue. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out very well when you tried it earlier. No, it didn't. I just walked up the owl statue and I'm like, oh, right. I can't. I can hit you with my hand. <laughs> I can't even do that. I have to become a Gwan or a Rosora first. Yeah. Yeah, it specifies a sword, so... Well, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, until next time, everyone, take care, and goodbye. Bye-bye.